Thanks for being here today with me, Gene. This is a, a great topic that I love helping patients out with, but uh, there's no one that I can think of that does it better than you. So for all of you that don't know me, I'm Dr. John Pachorek. I'm a chiropractor. I'm a functional medicine doc. Um, this is my good friend, Gene. He is a, a consultant with Standard Process. Uh, I like him so much because uh, he's got his master's degree from uh, my alma mater, a New York Chiropractic College. So he's got a lot of great information. Uh, like I said, a master's degree in applied clinical nutrition. So whenever I get stuck on something, I reach out to him and he's, he's just a great guy to have around. Um, we're gonna talk about a couple detoxification purification programs um, through standard process today. I've just had fantastic results in my office. My patients love it. It's just a wonderful way to reset some habits, get on track with your life, get in control of your life. And I like it because you learn a lot with it. You learn a lot about yourself, but also a lot about eating, about diet, about nutrition. And it's something you can do over and over again. You can always pick up where you left off. Um, you know, everyone has a rough time. Uh, everyone cheats. So it's a, a great tool to just have in your bag to, for when you're, you're ready to, to reset. So I'm going to start with just a couple uh, huge successes that I've had really in the past uh, few months. I've walked, oh my goodness, I couldn't even tell you how many patients through the purifications. Um, this first patient uh, here is, uh, is a, a male patient, 70 years old, and his story was just fantastic. You know, he came to me, um, we had a great talk. He told me, you know, he had high triglycerides but I really never understood how high his triglycerides were until I got his blood work. And they were, um, as you can see, 1,044, which was just unbelievable to me. So he told me he's uh, had this number, triglycerides, 800, 900,000, probably for the last 20 years. And he was really hoping we could uh, work some magic and help him out. So, you know, we set him down. I walked him through uh, the 21 day purification program he did fantastic with it. And as you can see, um, his after results are unbelievable. He dropped his triglycerides almost a thousand points. So his before was 1,044. After his triglycerides were 101. Blood glucose dropped from 261 to 90. His cholesterol dropped from 286 to 126. The big thing he wanted to see was triglyceride numbers go down. And uh, I called him up when I got his uh, after blood work and he was about fell off his chair. He was so happy with, with life and just how we were able to reset things. And, you know, he's very happy with, with the results. Um, one of the blood panels I, I pull will give you your, your coronary heart disease risk. So his risk dropped to 2.7, which is uh, compared to others, less than half the average risk for some kind of uh, cardiovascular event, which is just fantastic. Uh, Gene, if you give me the next slide, this uh, was a lady I worked with at the end of the summer, and she was just fun, fantastic. Um, a lot of times as I work with people, I don't find out their real goals and what they're really hoping until the end when they, they tell me, and I think they're, they're shocked, they're surprised with some of the results. So with this lady, I mean, she lost 12 pounds. She was just sleeping fantastic. Like a lot of her pain or joint pain, body pain decreased. The big thing that surprised me, and I think it was the biggest thing in her mind, was her skin clear. So she just kept going on and on about how clear her, her skin was. She used to have patches on her face, on her arms, on her trunk, um, and then the bags under her eyes. She just could not get over that. You know, in 21 days, she was able to change her body appearance so so dramatically. Now she continues to improve. We did uh, pre and post blood work on her. You know, glucose started at 115. Um, at the end, we dropped it down to 85. What I may have been most uh, surprised by with her is her A1C. It was 5.7 to begin with, but we dropped it to 4.5. I find A1C is a slower mover as far as uh, when you're looking at blood labs. For a lot of people, it takes uh, weeks, months to, to really start moving. So that's a pretty dramatic drop in 21 days. Cholesterol went from uh, 271 to 190, and we almost halved her triglycerides. It went from 150 to 86. So these are just a couple of the mo more recent uh, patients I've had an opportunity to work with, but the results just speak for themselves. So I'm going to turn things over to Gene, let him uh, give us a, a good lesson, teach us some, some great things. 
Um, but really just hope this is a great benefit for everyone, people that are on the fence, um, just uh, walking through a program, just a fantastic program like this and, and helping you guys change your mind. So once again, Gene, thanks. And I'll let you take it from here. Sure. Thanks, Dr. John. Um, so these testimonials are great and they really point to the fact of what we'll get into. And that is when you do things with whole food, um, when you do things uh, with programs that are actually not just meant to uh, force things, but really help the body do things naturally, uh, you get better results. And that being uh, the weight loss for one, um, you know, weight loss is a huge side effect of these programs is what made them popular. Um, but, you know, we don't promote them as that because it's really just a side effect of what happens when you feed the body and you do things right. And then you see amazing things happen when you do things with programs and, and change the diet in your work with Dr. Vachorik, but like A1C, like he's talking about, you know, that is such a gold standard for blood sugar because it's, you can't cheat it. You know, they use 12 to 16 weeks to monitor that and to see changes that dramatically. And that's actually a, a big bump and just 21 days time is huge. And what you have to keep in mind is, you know, can medications do that? And even if they could, is that the best way to do that? Um, we want to show you three different options you have, whether you just want to get healthier, if you want to maintain your health, um, just different goals you may have, you can achieve it with these programs and we'll go through um, what they are and, and how to be successful at those if you choose to do them. Um, so what's key is really, you know, you hear the word detox a lot. Um, so these, you can call them detox programs, uh, purification programs are called different things, but the bottom line is there are different things in our diets um, and in environments that are toxins. And we can actually pinpoint how those different things cause different body types. So for the longest time, you know, some people will hear different diets and will, they'll try different exercise programs and they don't work. And the reason they don't work is they're not doing the right things. Um, we know in some cases, livers are affected, thyroid, we have ovary, adrenal. So some of you may look at these and look at the body type and say, that's what I have. You know, I identify with that body type and they all come down to diet and toxins. So these programs are designed to specifically take care of what these metabolic imbalances are. Um, so you can get results, the weight loss, you know, the cholesterol changes, the energy, the, the better sleep um, that you're trying to achieve. Now, what we'll go through um, kind of quickly as we can, but as concisely as we can are, you know, what are these major roadblocks to achieving optimal health? Um, because a lot of us just don't know what those are. Um, there, there's a lot of them in our environment. Um, we're exposed to them, we eat them, and we, we just aren't aware of them. Um, how are we being exposed to them? That's a shock to some of us. What effects do they have on our health? I'll talk about that because a lot of us don't know how to correlate um, weight, for example, cholesterol and high blood pressure with food. Um, it's not always uh, genetics and genetics don't play the huge strong link that we think they once did. And what are the effective solutions? Um, the big thing about these programs is Dr. Bachorek said, you know, you can do them as much as you want. Um, the whole idea is to teach you a lifestyle. So it's something that you learn and something you can continue. It's not do one of these programs for however many days the one that you choose is, and then just fall off the wagon and go back to your old habits. It's what are you going to learn? It's what are you going to continue? And that's really how you get sustainable results and healthy results. Um, so it's, it's not a quick fix. It's really a lifestyle is what you're achieving here. So these, you know, really are kind of well known now, um, at least hopefully we know, but all the environmental toxins. So some of these statistics are older and they're just, they're worse now. But as far as in uh, 1989, the EPA estimated one year, almost 6 billion pounds of chemicals were either dumped into the public sewage or released in the ground surface waters or air. The problem is we have a lot of these man-made chemicals and they've been made illegal um, like DDT is a classic example, um, but there's no antagonist for nature. So they say, okay, we won't use this anymore, but it's actually still found in newborns. It's still found in certain uh, soils, especially in the Great Lakes area. Um, so if you're uh, a local patient of Dr. Schwartz in Ohio, 
you can especially relate to that. Um, you know, there's just a lot of things in there and there are big environmental issues raised because of that, because of the chemicals that were used in farming and just runoff in those areas. And they actually find uh, that women on average have about 10 pounds of excess weight just from living in that region because of the toxins. And I'll tie in the toxins and, and how they, they relate to the weight. And then now a, a newer one is pharmaceuticals in our water. Again, no antagonist for it. Um, you know, there's different grades of pharmaceuticals. Some they require you bring to a pharmacy if you don't need them anymore, because, you know, people are able to come off of them if it's especially something like a solid diet. Um, or, you know, if, if someone passes and don't need them, doesn't need them anymore. Um, most people don't do the proper measures. They, they will flush them down the toilet. Um, even if anyone just takes any meds, they're still excreted in, in stools and urine. Um, but this as of, let's see, it was um, 24 to 28 states tested. That was 2008. So as of about four years ago, it's all of them. So every single place that you will test water, and that was huge, obviously, in Michigan as of late, uh, the drinking water quality there. But even places where it's not, you know, overt public, public issue of um, water issues, it's still in there. Um, so why should we care? So what does that have to do with our health? So those things, when I said there's no antagonist for it, nature just doesn't biodegrade. Um, they're called persistent organic pollutants or POPs to say persist in the environment. Now, these will actually inhibit weight loss. Now, the reason they do that is um, the body can only manage these things so well. So if we're not getting certain things in our diet, like vegetables, um, fruits, specifically organic things like that, things that have, feed our body and flush those out, if the body doesn't know what to do with it, it will find it in a safe place. It will actually just put it in fat tissue. So your body is actually really smart. Um, holding on to the weight is its way of compensating for those chemicals. So there's no way it's going to force that weight off if it knows if I get rid of this weight, I'll have no place else to put those toxins. So some people think they just need to eat less or they need to exercise more and they really force it. Nothing happens. And it's because the body knows, well, I'm not getting rid of this fat. This is how I get rid of the toxin because I need to hold on to the toxin. So what they say is when, when fat or toxins go, fat follows. So you have to detoxify. You have to get rid of these toxins in order to lose that, that stubborn weight. And it's not just weight. It's chronic diseases. Um, there's a lot of links of heavy metals and different things to neurological disorders. Um, it goes on and on. Some people manage to lose the weight, um, but you know, you'll become sick. So you really have to do it in a safe manner. And that's why these programs are so important. You'll get results, but it's done in a safe way. Um, so we'll talk about what a lot of different toxins are. And sugar is actually a toxin because of how it interrupts our endocrine system, what it does to our hormones, um, and how inflammatory it is. So just to give you some perspective, the average person in the 1700s ate four pounds of sugar a year. Today, 25% of us consume over a half pound of added sugar daily, adding up to 180 pounds per year. This is why one in four Americans is either pre-diabetic or has type two diabetes. Now, why did this happen? The reason this happened was there was a whole craze where, you know, low fat, they correlated with low triglycerides, low cholesterol and heart disease heart attacks, but they really were looking at the wrong kind of fats. Um, they weren't looking at omega-3s. And what happened was people took all the fats out of food, businesses did. So if you take the fat out of food, um, that's what makes food taste good. So what do you add that's cheaper and will make it last longer on the shelf is sugar. And then we went a step further, it was all artificial junk sugar. So sugar is a huge issue in our food supply. And part of these programs are helping to stop the craving of the sugar and help eliminate those things. Now, this slide here, um, you know, it's, it's a slide of some of our favorite things, but I want you to look at this and know that this isn't actually food. Um, you know, some of us have grown up eating these things. Some of them eat them because they're convenient, um, because they taste good. But I want you to get some general things um, from this recording. And one of them is that food is a business. 
So a lot of these companies have no interest in mind in what your health is. There's no laws that say once these foods are stripped of nutrients so they taste good or last longer on the shelf for profit purposes, that they need to actually replace them uh, with anything that resembles a real nutrient or that is healthy. Um, there are no guidelines for that. So, you know, looking at this and Fruit Loops and, and hot dogs and things like that, they're not really food. Now, the idea of this is we don't want to show this to you and, and scare you and say, well, you know, I love hot dogs and we don't want you to think you can never eat these things again. That's not the point of this. The point of this is we want to get you in a place where you say, okay, I can have the hot dog or I can have the beer. I can have a glass of wine every once in a while. But when I'm presented with those things, I don't crave them. I don't feel like I need them. And you know how to make better options. More importantly, when you do have these things at a birthday party, a barbecue, you know, 4th of July, your body has the means to eliminate the junk that's in it because you know how to eat healthy now and you've been eating properly. Um, but just some numbers here, the U.S. allows over 14,000 chemical additives for food supply. And the average American consumes more than 150 pounds of food additives and 100 pound, 180 pounds of sugar uh, annually, as we touched on before. So just know that these are toxins too. Um, they're not food, they're not nutrients. Um, you don't have to eliminate them completely from your diet, but you do have to have enough good in your diet that you can have some of these every once in a while. So what effects does all the toxicity and poor diet have on us? And you know, Dr. Pachora can add to this because he sees, I'm sure, a lot of things chiropractically that are due to these. But you know what? Some of us might know right off the bat one weight gain, which you touched on, um, fatigues, headaches, allergies, joint and muscle pain, um, hormonal function, anxiety and stress, edema, that's water weight. So when you have swelling, um, you know, sometimes females and males will recognize rings fit differently. Um, you know, they're tight sometimes when you do the program, that's the first thing they notice shoes differently, rings, watches, because again, your body's holding on to that water weight just as it wants to hold on to it and dilute the toxins in it like it does with the fat or the adipose tissue. Um, so again, you get rid of the toxins and edema, the water weight will actually flush out faster than the actual fat does when you do the program. And Dr. Short touched on this, skin rashes. He has a patient that had rashes. The skin is an organ, okay? So if we're just putting junk in our body, you know, there's chemicals in our body, um, whether it's perfumes, whether it's, you know, the shampoo we use or the foods we eat. Um, if your liver and your, your organs of elimination can't handle it, it's going to want to get out. And if, you know, you don't have enough adipose tissue and that's not working out for the body, it'll come out through the skin. It'll come out any way it can. So that's why skin rashes are an issue uh, with poor diet and toxicity, sleep problems, and then of course, cholesterol. So sugar especially is irritating and inflammatory to the body. So one thing I wanna clear up with why cholesterol is so successful with these programs we'll go over is um, when you're putting these things in your body, think of uh, sugar and insulin as like sandpaper in your vessels, in your vascular system, just flowing through your body. Cholesterol is actually the good guy. It's like a Band-Aid. So when you're doing all this damage, the cholesterol is there to patch it up. So cholesterol is simply just smoke to the fire. And the, the fire is inflammation from the foods and the toxicity. Um, and then when we clean up our diet, we remove the inflammation. We allow the body to heal. The cholesterol isn't needed as much because cholesterol is necessary in the body. We need to make hormones, purify blood, uh, break down, you know, different things in the body. It, it's absolutely needed. So you don't want to eliminate it. We just need to clean up the diet. Um, and I'm sure, Dr. John, I don't know if you want to talk about some of the chiropractic patients you'd see. And, you know, sometimes I, I hear practitioners say they adjust and adjust and adjust and patients can figure out, well, what's going on? Sure. Sure. You know, your vertebral systems is uh, like the circuit breaker box in your house. So you got to figure out what's causing the breakers to flip. Uh, sometimes it's a slip and a fall. Sometimes it's overuse. Sometimes it's coming from inside your body, your organs, your organ system. Uh, so yeah, getting to the root cause, figuring out what's causing the inflammation makes all the difference in the world. And, you know, stubborn cases, I've had them resolved by people going through the 21 day purification. You know, you really... As a patient, you get a, 
more insight into your body and you start seeing those um, those, those cause and effect, you, you start understanding when you put this food in your body, this is a reaction you get, whether it's, you know, joint pain, um, mid back pain, low back pain, shoulder pain, but yeah, definite cause and effect. Okay. So I want to give you a visual now. And I alluded to genetics earlier, um, because a lot of us think we're victims to our genetics. Um, we may have just been doing things wrong we're doing things the right way and we think well if our parents were this way or grandparents were that way that's why i'm overweight that's why i have high triglycerides or cholesterol and that's not the case um you know it it takes uh so long for genetics to change in you know the human genome when we look at things that have changed so rapidly in the population and health declining genes don't change that fast so i'm just going to show you some data um, from the Center of Disease Control. And what we have are, this is when they first started this set of data in 1988. And in the red states, more than 35% of that population is considered to be overweight. So then when we jump ahead to just eight years forward to 96, you can see it's about half the US. So more than half the US or about half the US, more than 35% of those states are considered to be overweight. And then we just jump ahead four years later, 2000, it's all of them. Now, you ask yourself, is there an obesity gene? Did the things happen that fast? They, they can only guesstimate. They think it's about like 40,000 years to get a change in the human genome. Um, when we look at things like disease and morbidity, things like weight and obesity, it, it was not a genetic factor. Um, genes make some individuals are more susceptible to things um, like, you know, breast cancers and things like that. Um, but you only get those things if you eat those certain foods. Um, so you eat the right foods and you don't turn those genes off or on. So you can actually turn a gene off or on with food in as little as 90 days. So even though you can't eliminate the gene or create a new gene, like an obesity gene, um, even though it's harder for others, uh, to lose weight or even gain muscle, that's all determined by food to turn it off or on. Um, and this data, you know, it only goes up to 2000. And I went to the Center of Disease Control website and I got a more updated version, but it was so um, complicated with all the different versions of obesity we have now. You know, there's overweight, there's uh, obese, there's morbidly obese. Um, there are about 12 different colors. You couldn't even make sense of it. It's, we're like numb to it now. So I just kept the older data so we can see how fast progress and the impact to it. Um, plus I'm colorblind and I couldn't even make sense of it. There was just too much going on. But just know that, you know, you know, in the television shows, like my 600 pound life, we didn't have that back in the 80s. That, that wasn't a thing. Um, but it's just, it's a different culture now. Um, but we're not tied to our genetics. Um, it's about the choices we make. And this program is about helping you make the right choices, but also eliminating um, the certain cravings and basically changing your biochemistry so you can make the right choices. Um, the programs we'll talk about, so we're gonna talk about three of them. And basically it's good, better, and best. And the reason we talk about good, better, and best is um, you have to meet a patient where they're ready. So standard process has three main programs. One of them, without a doubt, is the better one. Um, it is more difficult, it's longer. Um, but regardless of the program, they all focus on the liver. And the reason they focus on the liver is what we take in from our environment, whether it's food, whether it's something we uh, eat or breathe in, it's a liver's job to process it and get it out. And what determines whether our liver is gonna work or not has absolutely everything to do with the foods we eat, specifically green leafy vegetables. Um, you can throw herbs in there as well, which the program has to help that process work better. But there's simple phases, phase one and phase two. Phase one is it's like getting the, the toxins together in your body. Um, and that's when it says, okay, we're gonna get all this stuff together, make it less toxic and move it out. And phase two is when it gets it ready to leave the body. Now, the reason whole food is important is when you do the foods naturally as they're occurring in nature, 
you do phase one and phase two as it should happen. Um, a lot of programs, they don't do the phases uh, in conjunction. And if one phase happens before the other, you're actually in worse shape because all these things have come out of the fat tissue to leave the body. But if you just get them out of the fat tissue and don't resolve it from that point, then they're just toxins recirculating again. You'll feel like crud and then they have to get, you know, put back in the fat tissue. So this is important to understand the importance of liver and the proper foods to eat. So why is a program important to do? Um, for one thing, you need certain guidelines. And it's one thing, you know, to tell someone you need to not eat this, you need to eat that. It's not that simple. Um, we are really, our choices are determined by our hormones or biochemistry. And those things are determined by the foods we eat. But more importantly, it has to be specific foods because you have to break a cycle. So I'll just show you this uh, cycle here to give you an idea of, of why this program is going to be different from maybe other things you've tried before. So you eat food and we'll use the example of a bagel um, or cereal, just something that's a carb. Okay. And that carb, all carbs are sugar, even vegetable carbs. So if you do certain vegetables that are too high in carbs, those aren't the best for you either. So you really have to watch your carbs. Um, but you eat that bagel and it says, okay, it's a sugar. So your body makes insulin, your insulin, uh, the sole purpose is to get that sugar into the cells to use for energy. But if you overwhelm it, um, your body says, okay, we don't need this anymore. We're going to shut down some of these receptors. So the cells resist the insulin. And of course you do this over and over again. You've heard of insulin resistance. So you flood the body with too much insulin, more than the body can handle. So it shuts it down and doesn't receive all of it. So what happens is, again, the body's smart. It says, we're going to save this energy for later. It stores it as fat. But since it didn't get into the, all the cells for energy, you feel tired and hungry again because you didn't get the energy, but you did get some fat from it in case you need it for later. Um, so what do people do next? Well, they eat. But do they make a better choice? Or do they say, okay, I need some more of that uh, bagel. You know, I need to get more of whatever it is. I, I don't know. I don't know what a convenient lunch is that maybe most Americans get, but uh, they might go to worst case scenario, maybe McDonald's, you know, some might do that. Um, they might make, you know, they might pack their lunch, but still might be too heavy in carbs. And people hear fruits and vegetables, uh, but they go way too heavy on the fruits and they ignore the vegetables. So even if you're eating a lot of fruits, you fall in this cycle. So what we do with these programs is to break this cycle, you have to add in quality fats and proteins, and you have to add in quality minerals. And when you do the minerals and the fats and the proteins, you break the cycle so you can process the sugar properly. If any of you have heard of the term hangry, which is popular now, because, you know, just out of nowhere, people have become really cranky. You're like, well, what's going on? And then you find out they haven't eaten or they've eaten poorly. So when you're hangry, it's when you don't have the proper nutrients and you're not thinking straight. And when you don't think straight, you don't make proper food choices. So the whole point of these programs is to eliminate that. So here is the good, better, best. We're going to focus more heavily on the best because the, the best is obviously you get the best results. Um, it's a little bit more difficult. And what happens is as we go through these programs, um, they get easier and they get shorter. The, the nutrient base is pretty much the same in all of them. But like I said, the diet gets more lenient um, and the time frame gets shorter. So you get some results, you absolutely get results, but they're not as deep as the other ones go. So for those patients in the beginning that Dr. Pachoric shared, yes, their triglycerides would have dropped. It would not have dropped that much. Um, they would have lost weight. It would not have lost as much weight. Um, so again, you just have to look at this and identify what you're ready to do. Standard process only have a 21 day and that's the best one. That's what we'll spend some time on, but not everyone was ready for it. It absolutely got the best results, but they came up with these other programs instead of, you know, shying people away that needed it the most. We said, okay, we'll make a program that's a little bit uh, easier as far as time and effort. Um, and then when you're ready, do the 21 day. And that's the whole point of these is do what you're ready for. And then if you don't do the 21 day, eventually do that one. And I don't know if you have any 
any thoughts or advice on that as far as what your patients have done as far as where they started? No, that's great. Um, yeah, we, we always try to meet you where, where you're at. Uh, people always get the best results with the 21 day, but we've had you know great success with the other programs as well. And what I find most of the time, people that do the other programs, yeah, they graduate up and want to do the 21 day. Um, it's all about, you know, finding an accountability partner. For some people, the difficult thing is they're multi-generational households. So um, if grandma is making the food and wanting to do the, the pro program, but uh, the, the kids or grandkids are bringing in, you know, all these other treats and things that aren't great, it, it can put a little bit more stress on, on grandma. And so she doesn't do as well with the program. So sometimes introducing a, a you know, one of the other options, uh, in that case can be very beneficial because it, it helps build up the confidence. And once you have the confidence, you can know you can do it. It's so much easier to say no to a lot of the other uh, bad influences in, in our dietary life. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, and in saying that it's easier if, you know, it's a couple doing it to do it together. Um, if one person orders a pizza and the other one's, you know, doing a 21 day, um, you know, you can do it, but you have to be strong-willed and it's just easier. You cook together, you go shopping together, you do those things together. It's a lot easier. Um, so just keep that in mind. So, okay. Why whole food? So just a quick, uh, I guess, history, if you want, center process. Um, company has been around for almost a hundred years now. Uh, 1929 is when they were founded. We have our own farms in Wisconsin, and that's where we actually grow the foods on our organic farms that we turn into the product. So when you're working with food, it's more bioavailable, meaning you, I'm sure many have heard before, it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. So you can put, you know, uh, like synthetic things or vitamin copies in your body, your body doesn't absorb it. Your body's used to eating food, uh, it, it was meant to recognize food. So when you do uh, supplement programs and vitamins and minerals from food, you utilize it better. So it contains organically grown whole food concentrates, providing nutrients to help detoxify the liver and support the immune system. So this is really important because when you do cleanses and things like that, sometimes when people have tried them before in the past, they don't feel the best. They feel like junk is just the process of detoxification in itself is stressful on the body. It puts a burden on the immune system. You have to repair while you're doing it. And when you do such a process with whole foods, you're giving the body the complete package to repair and heal itself as it's tearing itself apart, so to speak, and detoxifying. So that's why you, know, you really can't say enough about why whole food is safe, but also that's why it's the most effective. So all programs have these ingredients with it and you have shakes with them. So it's nice now that you have the option of like a chai flavor. If you do the uh, SPD detox balance, which is the easier 10 day with the uh, 10 day blood sugar or the 21 day purification, which is the better and best. You have chocolate vanilla flavor if you want. Um, you could also just get a plain and if you're used to making fruit smoothies, you just make it as a fruit smoothie. But when you look at the ingredients in here, the quality whey protein, um, there's a rice protein available. So there's a lot of different options Dr. John can set you up with, but they all have the flax meal, brown rice, buckwheat juice powder, Brussels sprout powder, kale powder, basically things that we used to have in our diet, should have in our diet and don't anymore. Um, and if you look at things like juice powder, standard process to make these foods um, ultra concentrated, we'll juice them. And then we dehydrate the juice and the powders left behind from the juice is what's in the supplements. So it's a, it's, you know, it's an ultra concentrated organic form of foods that make up the supplements, which is why they're, they're so powerful and effective. Um, alfalfa powder, carrot powder, again, just a lot of green leafy vegetables, quality proteins um, to help feed the body, feed the liver. And then with the better and best, you're doing something called SP cleanse with the shakes. And SP cleanse really kickstarts the purification process. This really ramps up phase one and does some of the phase two. Um, and you only do this for the first seven days. Now, all these programs you do and everything I go through from here on out, 
comes with a book with. So as far as, you know, what's in it, what the ingredients are, what to take in when, yeah. So Dr. Chorik just held that up there. All programs come with a booklet. Um, they have ingredients, they have shake recipes, um, you know, and Dr. Chorik has some of his, his own, his favorites. Um, patients come up with their own. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to go. So anything that I go on from here on out, if you miss something, don't worry about it. All the dosings in the books. Um, and what supplements taken when. But this one, for instance, you only do the first seven days, and then you switch over to another one. And it's all timed very carefully so that you do that phase one and phase two safely um, and in incongruency, like it should be done. And you can just see different things like apple pectin as a natural fiber, burdock root for kidney function, um, antioxidants with the organ grape root, um, things in there for cholesterol metabolism. Um, so very specific foods in there formulated for the very specific things in detoxification. And this is different from, you know, you may have heard like a gallbladder flush or um, like a colon cleanse, a colostomy, things like that. Um, the crazy things they do, um, you know, there might be a place for them in some instances, but this is a whole body cleanse. We're not just focusing on the whole body. Um, everything in the body is involved with elimination, like we saw before, the skin, um, the kidneys, the liver, as you see here, um, we get it all involved. The other thing you do on the 21 day, so again, you do the shake, you're doing the cleanse, you're doing green food and you're doing fiber. Now, you may be thinking, okay, it's kind of a lot of supplements. Um, it is, and it's from food is the reason. You know, it's not like a one a day, which is a high dose synthetic uh, chemical copy where they can high dose it almost like a medication. Um, this is from food. So just as you eat multiple times a day, you have a schedule where you do supplements uh, morning, lunch, and the evening. Um, and they go down very easy with the shake. If it's an issue, you know, the supplements can be broken apart even on the 21 day and just added to a shake. Um, no problem. Uh, there's cayenne in, in the cleanse. So you get a little bit of hint of that, but it's nothing bad at all. But again, buckwheat, barley grass, Brussels sprouts, kale, alfalfa, things that we're not eating and we should be eating. Um, and then the fiber is just to help make sure it's all eliminated from the body. Now, eating is important. And this is where actually a lot of people um, find it difficult and possibly fail because they don't prep for the program. When you get the program, read through the book and look at the foods and, and prep for it. Start with the vegetables you know you like. Um, hopefully there's at least one or two. Um, if not, go with the note with the ones you know are safe. Um, Prep, go to the grocery store, get those. Because if you start on Monday morning and you haven't even looked through the book and you don't know what foods to start with, that's when failure happens. Um, it's all about prep. Everyone has the, the good intention to do it. They buy it, but you have to prep. That's, that's probably one of the more important parts. It's not a starvation diet. If you're eating as much as you want, it just has to be the right foods and the right ratios. And that's true for all these programs across the board. The only difference is, I mentioned earlier, um, some of the diets are more lenient than others. The reason you get the better results with the 21 day purification program is it's much more strict of a diet. Um, you're not doing any allergens such as dairy. Um, you're not doing any caffeine. You're not doing certain uh, nuts. Um, you're not doing eggs even. And you, you just get much better results that way because joint stiffness, sleep, a lot of those have to do with allergens and patients don't even know it. Twice as many vegetables as fruits. It's key because like I said, people hear fruits and vegetables and they focus mostly on the uh, fruits portion of it because they taste good. But your palate does change as you're eating these foods. You kind of reset your metabolism. You get rid of your sweet tooth and you can make those food choices better. Again, eat as much as you like. You're kind of grazing throughout the program. Um, you know, and I've seen Dr. Petrork eat. He's a grazer. He eats a lot. And you can see he's not a big guy. When you eat the right foods and the right ratios, you can really, you can plow it down, so to speak. But again, you have to stick to the foods and people are amazed that their energy's up and the weight comes off, but you have to do the eating frequently throughout the day. Um, that's how you keep your energy levels consistent. And that's how you keep the detox going. Um, so don't think, oh, you know, I'm going to be starving or, you know, I just, I'm just going to be uh, in the smallest room of the house all day. 
it's not that kind of program at all. Drinking two, two or three of the shakes a day, you want to drink plenty of water. Um, coffee is not allowed on this program. Uh, green tea is. So if you just need that caffeine fix or you're weaning yourself off, um, do that. Um, it's not a bad idea to stop those things before the program, wean yourself off. People go cold turkey, you know, whatever you choose. Days 11 through 21, the big difference is now you're adding meat. We don't do meat the first 10 days to give your digestive tract a break and to heal, heal up leaky gut. Um, any distress your gut goes through, meat is hard to digest, so we take care of that. And then same thing, twice as many vegetables as fruit, quality protein, vegetables. Uh, frozen's okay, you don't want to do canned. Again, read through the book, it's all there. So foods and stimulants to avoid. Uh, fast food, processed food, carbohydrates, sweets and grains, processed grains. Um, you can do quinoa, but that's that's a pseudo grain. Um, it's, a, it's not a true grain. Obviously, hydrogenated oils, things like that. Basically, if it comes packaged, um, it's not allowed. Alcohol, caffeine, soda, tobacco. Um, you know, for some, those are hard. And I will say, you know, alcohol, you just you give it up. Because, you know, I've done this program during July uh, when I'm when I on a softball team. You know, I'll still play. I'll still go to the bar afterwards with the team. I just don't drink it. I don't eat the food. It's not a huge deal. Um, caffeine, when you're getting better sleep, you have more consistent energy. You don't miss it like you think you would. Um, some people don't do it afterwards at all. They stick to green tea. They don't miss it. Uh, nuts and beans are healthy, but they're high in carbs. Um, so when in doubt... Just avoid anything not listed in the booklet because then you start playing this game. What about this? What about that? People get the results they do when they, when they stick to the book. So when you do the um, better program, you're doing it, you're focusing on blood sugar and the foundation is very similar to the 21 day we just went over, except you're not doing two of the supplements and you're swapping it out for two blood sugar supplements. And we came up with this program because we realized the reason some individuals had so much trouble on 21 days is their blood sugar imbalance was so bad. They were like, I can't do this. They gave up after two days. So if they didn't have the will to stick with it, we found this program was a really good start for them. Whether it's inflammation, bad sleep, uh, you know, aching joints, you name it. Uh, blood sugar is a root cause of it. Um, any sort of arthritis, inflammatory skin conditions, this will help just as a 21 uh, day will do, except again, the focus is on blood sugar and it's shorter. So you do something called Diaplex. This is described in the book. It's basically a multiple vitamin for, for blood sugar. Genema is an herb, and this is specifically for blood sugar. It helps block um, sugar absorption in the gut. It will change actually your receptors and how you uh, crave foods. It normalizes cortisol. So the, the Diaplex and the Genema um, are part of the 10 day blood sugar program, which is considered the, the better one in the middle program, if you will. So the good program, which is the SP detox balance. Um, this one is essentially all the ingredients we just talked about are in one powder and it's chai flavor. So someone that's not used to eating healthy foods, um, has never done a cleanse before, doesn't even know where to start, um, does not eat healthy whatsoever, um, hasn't shopped for vegetables in the grocery store before, this is where a good starting place would be. It's not as ideal as a 10-day blood sugar or the 21-day but you will get results and it will be easier for you. Um, this booklet um, is the one that comes with it and you actually build up the shakes and then you, you build off. So it decreases any chance of headache or anything from, you know, detoxing because sometimes the most toxic people will have headaches, which do pass in a couple of days or so. Um, but this option is, is really just the easiest one. It's 10 days. And if you're not sure where to start, you know, before this existed, people did the 21 day, um, but this is an option. So I'm just going to talk about real quick what to expect, and then Dr. Pachork will wrap it up with a few words. Um, basically, more energy. So 
you know, you saw the testimonials um, from older individuals. I talked about, you know, as an example of the multi-generational household, older individual. Um, what we're seeing now is obesity is affecting much younger populations. Stress is much worse, um, especially given, you know, all the things that's happened in the past couple of years. But this is for all ages. Um, it's modified for children. Um, you know, obviously, I, I, you know, I've been with standard process for a while, but I did it when I first started when I was uh, 23. And I've done one every year since then. I'll do a 10 day in between that. Um, so you could be in, in good shape, but just have blood sugar differences or difficulties and you just want more energy. So just more energy might be something you need and the program is right for you. More commonly, weight loss is something that um, patients strive for. Now, to keep in mind, if you are younger, if you are an athlete and you want to do this, you only lose what you have to lose. So some patients will lose upwards of um, 60 plus pounds, but they have that to lose. Um, other patients with smaller frames, they don't have a weight issue, they're an athlete, they might only lose like two pounds. Quite frankly, some people will gain a pound or two because they're eating more lean protein, they're eating healthier fats, and they're getting out and walking. So really it's about getting your body to, the, to homeostasis where it needs to be. So don't think if you're, um, you're already in shape or you're already thin that you can't do it because you're gonna lose weight. You just lose what you have to lose. Better digestion, reduce joint and muscle pain, clear skin. So skin and hair, you know, that's more of a, I guess you could think of it as a vanity thing, but ultimately those two things are expressions of what's happening on the inside. Um, if we're having junk, um, chemicals, bad fats, your skin, and your hair show it. Um, and then of course, improved mood that goes with balanced blood sugar, better sleep, um, hormone balance, all those different things that that you achieve on the program. So depending on the program, some of these areas are hit heavier than others, and that will determine ultimately, I guess, which one you want to do. Um, but Dr. Short, if you want to add a few things. Yeah, well, thanks so much, Gene. I mean, this was very helpful. Some of you, I think, will be able to determine what you want to start with right away. Other people, feel free to reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. You know, if you're a current patient, when I see you in the office, let's talk, let's get you set up. It's all about planning. It's all about getting an accountability partner, someone to help you along. I love to help people through this. I love to be your accountability partner. I do this several times a year because I oftentimes start with different groups. You don't have to wait for a group. You can start right now. Um, yeah, I mean, we just want to get this information because yeah, the healthier you are, just the, the better your whole life's going to be. And, and really that's what we want. We want everyone to have a, a really good life and to be enjoying things, um, you know, better energy, better mood, better sleep, you know, good relationships, getting outside, enjoying the sunshine. So once again, thanks so much, Gene, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.